I'm Kathy Ann White. Today we're going to take a quick look at carrier sheets for digital printing alternative surfaces. When you um, print like papers, things like this one has holes in it, uh, you don't want that on your bed of your printer. You have things that you might want to print that will go over the edge and then again you might, you'll have some fabrics that will just need the actual backing of a carrier sheet to make them um, secure to send them through the printer. So we're going to take a quick look at how to tape some of these things to a carrier sheet to be successful in your digital printing. So once I get to this part of my process, I have an alternative surface. This is cheesecloth that has been prepared to print. Uh, this is a little larger than some of the other ones that I'm going to show you. For this, I go to um, a roll of matte paper, a nice matte type paper so that you don't have any problems once this goes through the printer. In a case like this, obviously I have little jagged edges that I want to preserve and I want to over print, which means I want to print outside the edge so that these little things out here have print on them. Um, in this case, I would probably snip this thread here if you can see it and this one because that could totally not go in a good place on these other threads here same thing I might trim it up a little bit then I'm gonna do something that I do and I would not do it in my studio and I say do as I say not as I do in some of these videos um, I'm gonna use this 505 temporary fabric adhesive that's the thing I like to use if I'm going to use something to attach the fabric on the carrier sheet or the metal or whatever it is and um, and in this case before I would spray it I would go along the edge and I would use this double face tape and so I'm going to go along the edge first then once the edge is finished all the way around and this is secure I'm going to, and not over my table, but I'm in a video thing here, so I'll just do it here. Um, I'm going to give it a very light spray of this adhesive. The adhesive is going to kind of disconnect itself in hours or, you know, days or so. And I'm going to attach this with both, which the double face tape, which you did not see me go around the entire thing because I was not going to take the time. But this is now, if you make, if you pretend that your double face tape is all around the edge, this is now ready for printing. Now it's a whole other story how to center your print on the canvas. We have like what I call a canvas size and an image size. Depending on where you're printing, you, depending on what you have to do with that. But my book, Digital Printing Alternative Surfaces, The Definitive Source, gives you all the information you know you need to know on printing and doing handling all these surfaces. I'm just kind of giving you a quick guide here. So um, and for other smaller pieces, I'll use, <clears throat> a lot of times I just use the Epson paper. There are other good papers. Um, you can use like a regular inkjet paper, which I don't use often because it's just when a surface is taped to it, it just doesn't, seem to have the body that a little thicker sheet will have. Now this sheet has got um, nozzle checks on the back of it and I would use a sheet of a matte paper like this to adhere a surface to and then send it to the printer. I might not get this close to the edge because I'm gonna probably for this one the same thing I'd want to print it out over the edge. So I would kind of put it like here I would tape my edges underneath because I'm going to print over this just like I showed you and I would use a little bit of this for, uh, 505 spray and I would send this through my printer. The other thing that if I think that a fabric or something is too flimsy, now this one I think you can see it's got threads all over it, these threads would have to either come off or be taped down. If I was going to use a surface that I wanted to not go over the edge, maybe even have a border. This is not a good example because it's not a real crisp border. But um, I would again just do my uh, little bit of the spray 
and then I would put this down on the surface and I would use, I'm putting something over it because I really don't want my hands all over a prepared print. I would do that. And if this wasn't really, really thick of a fabric, like a canvas, which I might want to tape that was a little wider and a little more secure, I'm just going to tape around the outside edge to put it down to the paper. And any of these little threads that come out, I'm just going to trim them off. You can see that this this is a recycled plastic that I printed and this has an edge around it. So this one was taped on the top because I wasn't really um, I wasn't secure in this actual surface not flipping up in places in the printer. So that's a couple ways to do this. Uh, one of the reasons to do it is like I had showed you originally there's holes in here. You can see that all this ink will end up on your bed if you just tried to send this through. Plus, this is pretty flimsy and it could absolutely jam in your printer. So that's a quick look at carrier sheets. You can click on some of the links in the box below and get some other ideas um, from maybe books or articles that I've written. I'll leave you some links there. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for ongoing information on digital printing with alternative surfaces. Ask a question below, add a comment, um, contact me in any way, and I'm always happy to help.